Well, hello there. My name is Jay, and I am with a computer store in the Pacific Northwest, a little town called Anacortes. And I have uh, been working on a server, a small business server, for a number of years. Uh, it's, kind of, it's the product of a lifetime of my, my expertise, and it's all bundled up into this box and our hopes and dreams of our small company uh, riding on it. And I was, I've been looking at cases, and in fact, I have selected a case, and we've been using that case. We've got well, half a dozen uh, clients right now using our new product, but we're ebbing up close to the point where we're creating the website and we ex to launch it on a larger scale. And I, I thought, well, wouldn't it be nice to have a case of our own choosing? Because there's kind of there's some limits in this case, and uh, we're kind of pounding a square peg into a round hole. One example of that is the current case design supports five drives. We would like six drives. Um, I've been working on a mock-up of what it might look like. Now, this is our existing case. This is a real computer case that we purchased from uh, from this company, iStar USA. And if we scroll down, we can see it right here. Okay, so that panel pops off and we send that panel out for engraving and that gives us this look, put a little stripe there and a logo there and it becomes our own. This drive container, they also manufacture, um, but we're gonna get into that in just a second. Okay, so this is the case that you just saw brought into Photoshop with measurements of, in place showing a variety of different things. I've taken that and I've incorporated your LED screen design to come up with this drawing here. The way I, I would envision it is you've got the LED panel, uh, power button moves to the left side, USB ports, um, the logo pretty much stays the same way. I, I would like like a panel that's on top that we can send out and engrave unless you know, engraving becomes part of it. You would know better than I do. We just use a local engraver and they come up with something, but if there's a better way to do that, uh, it'd be kind of cool to have it, have it more brushed aluminum uh, ground out of the metal, but maybe that's cost prohibitive and it's better for us just to use a local engraver. Um, but this would be a front panel that sits over the hard drives and over the LED screen. Because it's a server, and it's going to be in a business with employees walking around and all that kind of stuff, we would want the, um, the business to have the ability to stop anybody from just coming in and pulling out a hard drive at will. Or uh, perhaps the, the power button, it can be argued that that should be inside the door or outside the door. If it doesn't matter, probably leave it... Um, hmm. Well, that's a subject that's up for discussion. We'll have to think about that. And uh, if we hide, if we remove the door, I've got another view on this. I'm going to go ahead and remove the door. And that's what it would look like without the door. You see the LED panel. We see the six drives. And I'm not, you know, I'm not stuck in cement on the, the style of the drive bays. They can be any number of things. They're going to be hidden behind a door anyway, as long as they're hot swappable. Um, and frankly, I like it an industrial looking case. So if you know your artistic uh, nature provides something that looks more like a tank, <laughs> more bulletproof, um, you know, people like to feel that when they're looking at the server that's going to run their business, ruggedized, whatever. Um, this is okay. I don't have any problem with what we see, but if you can improve upon that um, in some way, I'm all ears. Now, coming back to uh, some of our, rec our recorded documentation, we see that, there we are. This is the overhead view of our current case. Things that we don't need, the CD-ROM bay, we totally don't need that. We're not going to use one. Uh, they've kind of got it swapped around right now. Their bay is on the left side of the case facing it. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'm thinking that would be on the right and the LED would be on the left, but I don't know that I really care which way that goes. Uh, so, although I think I like the branding the way that I showed you on the earlier picture 
better. The case that they use for enclosing the hard drives is not good for us. It's completely boxed in. So you have five, in this case, three and a half inch drives inside that case. And that generates a lot of heat. And there's nowhere for that heat to go except out the fan in the back. There's no need in having such a heavy enclosure case. I'd rather have a just a skeletal case with um, almost nothing um, but a thin strap across the top. I'll, how, if you guys know of a better way, maybe that's an evolution we need to talk about, but it can't be a completely enclosed case the way this one is. And, uh, oh, there's a better view from the top there. And they've got a fan on, mounted to the case, inside the case. That's nice, uh, you know, but I'm, I am going for a quiet case, as quiet as possible. I mean, the construction of the case doesn't have to create that. Um, because we're going to use super quiet fans wherever they exist, but a big loud fan on the back of the hard drive case, which is what they have right now, um, is not the goal for us. We want it to be quiet enough to where they can work with that server right next to them and they wouldn't be put off by it. And that's where not enclosing the hard drive container and, and creating aeration so the air can get out of those hard drives and exit through normal fans in the back of the case is, uh, is going to be ideal. And I guess that's it. Uh, perforation on top. You know, a perforation over the hard drives is probably a bad idea because if somebody spills something on them, it gets into the drives, it might get into the drives themselves. I guess that's something else that's up for discussion. And I don't want to waste any more of your time on this. I think you get the idea. Um, I've never done this before. I have no idea what costs are involved. We are a computer store with three employees and a very big dream. We're not broke, but we're not a big company. So, um, sh you know, shoot us an email and let us know what it would take to get something like this started because we would love to have our new product represented by a case like that, it would give us um, a much better foot forward because it would be unique in the industry. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.